Hey, Clayton Bishop here. We are going to learn how to do manual EDF or Z stacking in the Zen Core slash Zen Starter software today. I have a printed circuit board and I'm going to put it onto the STEMI next to me right here. Let's go live. There it is. And manual EDF helps cases like this, where we're at a high enough magnification and have enough topography that we can't get everything in the sample in focus at the same time. See how the top of this chip is out of focus? And when it's in focus, the bottom of this printed circuit board is out. You have a fix for that. I'm gonna go to the plus sign, acquisition, EDF manual focus. We're gonna add it. Here we are. So this is our live image right there. I move my hand under, we see that. I can come down here to manual extended depth of focus, and we have two different methods for taking this. I'm going to use the F12 key. You can choose a fusion method and an alignment. For a green ass stereoscope, you might pick high or highest. For a, a compound microscope, you might be able to go with no alignment or normal. This is just going to stack everything the right way. So I'm going to press start. And now we're recording. I'm going to press F12. I've added top of that chip into my final image. I'm going to change my focus manually. I'm going to press F12 again. There, perfect. Now you have an all in focus image, just like that. So instead of having one or the other in focus, you can get everything in focus. Let's try the timer method too. Let's go live. So you can see that you can set an interval here. It's going to take every second for me. Press start. It is recording and it has taken the bottom. Now I'm going to move up to the top and it's going to add that next time it takes. Here we go. Cool. So, two different methods for taking an all in focus image available to you in the Zen Core slash Zen Starter software.